Were you kissing my hand? And what about you with all your shedding? I don't shed. Really? Before they were buddies, Mike and Sully, the main characters in Pixar's Monsters University, were rivals. The film's production team used light to emphasize that rivalry. We had this rule that could never be in the same light or same shadow unless they were seen eye to eye. Lighting a computer animated film is a lot trickier than flipping a switch. Over the years, Pixar has built all sorts of complicated lights from scratch using software. But with Monsters University, the lighting team wondered if it could try something simpler. We said, what if there's a prepackaged light? As if you go to the store and get a light source and you just turn it on. Wouldn't that be nice? So Pixar developed what it calls smart lights. Six different out-of-the-box lighting options that cover just about every scenario possible. And using a technology called global illumination, lighting artists also simplified the process of bouncing light from one object to another down to a push of a button. <gasps> Here's Sullivan in the bedroom. There's light coming from off screen. And when you turn that effect on, you can see how much more positive the room looks. Supervising technical director Sanjay Bakshi says the lighting changes are a major technological step forward for Pixar because of the massive amount of computing power involved. It's risky because you, you, ha you, you need to be able to estimate how much computing power you'll need to make the film. Because if you need more, you can't add computers that quickly. It takes a long time to do that. Meanwhile, Pixar plans to keep pushing the envelope on lighting technology, now setting its sights on lighting in real time. We'd like to take this hybrid technology to the next level and start thinking about real-time lighting. And beyond that, potentially start doing real-time lighting with a director, like it's a live action set. We'll be ready. John Orlickman Bloomberg, Emeryville, California.